Hey y'all, welcome back to Moments with Miss Amy. Were you waiting for this video to come out? Well, that's one of the things we're gonna talk about is waiting. Because I don't know about you, but sometimes waiting can feel so hard to me. Like when I'm anxious about something that's coming up and either it's a fear anxious or an excited anxious, either one of them, I just, I want to press through it. I want it to either happen or whatever. And so having to wait, learning to wait, sometimes it's hard. And the fact that sometimes waiting can actually benefit us, well, that's something we're going to talk about. So today's scripture that I'm going to share, of course, is Psalm 62, 5. Upon God alone, O oh my soul, rest peacefully, for my expectation is from him. Another version says my hope comes from him. And that's the thing. Having hope, knowing that whatever's going on, good or bad, that we're not alone, I think makes a huge difference. But what am I talking about? Because we're, we're going to kind of leave the, the waiting for a negative or a fear or whatever else. We're going to kind of leave that one off to the side today. And what we're going to talk about is a little bit more about what about when we're excited about something happening and kind of anxious, maybe a little nervous about something coming up. But, and why sometimes we need to maybe change our outlook a little bit on that. So that's what I'm going to share today. So one of the things, let me give you a little story because, yeah, come on, y'all. You know that's what I do. Like, you just can't wait to hear these stories, right? You're waiting to hear them. <laughs> so I have family coming in this weekend, which is awesome. And I'm excited and I can't wait to see them. And I know we're going to have a great time. And, you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. But in October, we are getting to see other family and that family. We get to see my dad. And I'm really looking forward to doing that. So part of me is focused on October because not only am I excited about seeing my dad and I'll get to see this family as well, but also because there's preparations that need to be made. There's things that need to be done. And so my mind keeps going back to that and, and to focusing on, what needs to be taken care of and, and focusing on the positive things and what's going to be able to happen and planning that out. But I can get so focused on that that I forget to rest peacefully, to live in this moment and to focus on what's happening in just a few days. Now, that doesn't mean I'm not excited about what's happening in a few days. Please don't think that at all because there's going to be a lot of incredible fun while family's here. But sometimes when there's multiple things happening, we can get caught up in one thing and not focus as much on everything else. One of the things that happens with me when I do that is sometimes I'll forget to handle something, even something important that's for now or soon because I'm so worried about focusing and I'm so focused, <laughs> so focused on focusing um, on that future thing. So an important thing that I have learned is to kind of self-check myself, to stop for a moment and think, okay, I can be excited, anxious, whatever, about what's happening in the future. But is that something that in this moment I need to take care of? Or do I need to handle what's going on around me or even something that's just a little further into the future that needs to be taken care of first. So it's kind of taking taking that moment and just making that self-check, that self-awareness. One of the things I don't know about you, but I've been hearing a lot out there is about being present in the moment. And I know that it sounds maybe like a contradiction because so often I've talked to you in my videos about knowing your purpose and thinking about your future and knowing where you're going so that you get there and things like that. And it's not a contradiction to also live in this moment. In fact, it's important that we know where we're going. We know where we're headed. We know what we want and where we want it to be, but that we also can be in this moment and appreciate this moment and appreciate what's happening around us so that we are able to enjoy now as well as there. I've heard it said to enjoy the journey, not just the destination. And I think that's really a good point too, because if all we're focused on is the end goal, the end thing, 
then all this time in between, what is that? But if we are waiting upon the Lord, if we're peaceful about what's going on, making a plan, moving ahead to what we want, but also being aware of what's happening right now. I don't know, stop and smell the roses, as they say. Or for me, there's a storm coming. So stop and watch the lightning and listen to the rain. Um, you know, just not always be so rushed and so busy and so anxious about what's happening and what's going on that we forget to actually live right now and enjoy this moment. It's so vital. I think it's great for our health that... We take time to do a little self-awareness as well because we don't want to be living in a really high, constant energy all the time, focusing on what's going to be happening, what's going on, where are we headed? Because it's, it's not healthy to stay like that constant. Sometimes it's a good idea to just take a breath, relax. Not be worried about what's going on because even if, and we're, like I said, we're not going to delve into, you know, negatives and fears and all that kind of stuff. That's not what today's video is going to tear apart. But even with that, just on that little side point, no matter what it is that we're coming up to, we need to remember that God is there with us to take us through it. So we're not going through it alone. Um, and it's not... <sighs> Oftentimes, it's what strengthens us when we go through challenges. If life was always, you know, super easy and whatever, I, I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't think we'd gain the strength that we get when we overcome things. And also that feeling of accomplishment and victory when we overcome things. Those are important as well. But let's go back to the waiting. It's not just about our waiting either. We get excited and anxious about something happening and we're focused on it. We're thinking about it, but we're not the only ones. There's people around us. And so the people that are around us either are going through the same type of thing or they're not, right? I mean, kind of obvious one or the other, but if they're not going through it, sometimes we have to remember that we need to focus on them a little bit too. I'm super stoked about what's going on and about the fact that I'm going to get to go see my dad and it's not something that everyone around me is going to experience. So I need to make sure that I can still be in the moment with them instead of just, oh, all about me and all about what I get to do. And don't you wish you could too, you know? <laughs> it gets to be a little, you know, much. So we, we can be excited. We can share about things. But we need to make sure it's not just focused on that one. Now, there's another thing with waiting. Have you ever had to wait on someone else? Yeah, like you're sitting there and you're like, seriously, like, could we speed it up a little bit? Are you done? Are you done? And sometimes it's hard not to say something or to have that look. But what does that look really do? Or what does it do when they see our frustration? Well, I know for myself personally, when I see it from someone else, when they're waiting on me, it flusters me. I get frustrated. I get a little bit I get upset with myself that I'm running behind, but I also get upset that I feel like they're watching me or judging me or whatever. And I swear sometimes it makes me slow down, not intentionally, not at all, but I'm a lot more apt to second guess myself or to make a mistake, forget something, have to redo something, whatever. And so I think that if we can learn how to channel like what we're doing with, you know, helping ourselves to relax a little bit about the moment ahead and whatever. If we can also take that and learn how to use that with others that we're waiting on, that that can help and that we can be a little bit calmer in that moment and not cause them undue stress. A couple of little tricks with it is making sure that you always have that window of time so that it's not a last minute stress thing. Because when it is a last minute stress thing, things are gonna go wrong, the energies are gonna go bad. 
you know, tempers are probably going to flare. It's just not a good situation at all. And it can even be a dangerous situation because then sometimes whatever it is that you're doing, you rush into it and, and that's not good. You know, things can happen. So learning how to wait, but also be wise about the waiting, making sure, like I said, to have a little window of time. Don't wait to the last minute um, to do something, especially if it's something important. Um, making sure that we watch our facial expressions and that they're not giving off negativity and frustration that's not helping. Um, I'm a good one. I always have my phone with me. Obviously, I'm on it right now. Um, but I always have my phone with me. So I have things in my phone I can do. There's always pictures that can be gone through and deleted. Um, sometimes I have stuff on my phone that I can read. Uh, I love to play word games, so generally got at least one word game going that I can get on and do while I'm waiting for someone else. It helps when you're waiting if you do something productive because the other person doesn't feel as rushed or as stressed, but also you find out, dang, like look at what I got accomplished during that time. Or even if it was a word game or something, you took that time to relax a little bit. So instead of getting cranky because things weren't done in time, um, you're able to, to have a, a better feel, a better day. So those are just some suggestions. I hope that they help you out. Um, waiting, <laughs> waiting's interesting because on the one side, it's so hard to wait for something good. On the other side, it's so hard to wait for something to get done, <laughs> you know? But we're in between that you know we got goods and we got bads and it's just learning how to balance it and to have peace and to know that no matter what we're going to get through it and again that sometimes we put ourselves into that position by not being in the moment and making sure that what needs taken care of is taken care of when it needs to be rather than being pushed off to the last minute so let me know what you thought. Leave me a comment. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit that little bell. And I want to thank you again for joining me for Moments with Miss Amy. <laughs>